Barnaby Joyce has been blasted by his coalition colleagues as a first-class C for admitting he is unsure if he is the father of Vicky Campion's unborn baby. One MP used the expletive to describe the latest revelation about the affair surrounding the former Deputy Prime Minister and Nationals leader. Sources quoted by the Daily Telegraph on Sunday criticized Mr. Joyce's disrespectful and selfish decision to go public saying he needed to sort out the issues in his private life. This judgment is appalling, bizarre and I think he has some real issues in his private life to sort out, one source told the newspaper. Mr. Joyce defended his announcement in another interview with Fairfax Media telling the Sydney Morning Herald he had no choice but to address the rumor circling around Parliament. This issue has continued to be pursued by media despite my resignation. With paparazzi waiting for us at our gate at the airport, he said while also pointing out a Daily Telegraph journalist is due to appear on Monday night's Q&A on the ABC. His longtime political nemesis Tony Windsor savaged him on Twitter calling him a grub. The former deputy PM claimed in an interview with Fairfax on Saturday that journalists never asked about the boy's paternity. The disgraced politician said Vicky Campion's baby's paternity is a gray area because the child may have been conceived when he was in Europe with his wife. If anyone had doubts about Joyce's character I think they now have a clear picture of this grub. Will sacrifice others on his blundering self-centered path Mr. Windsor, the former independent member for New England. Said on Sunday, Mr. Windsor told Daily Mail Australia he had no sympathy for the former Nationals leader, who thrashed him in his old northern New South Wales seat at the 2016 election. No, he's brought everything upon himself. Everything, he said, all of the women issues that he's going to be confronted with have all been brought on by himself. Other angry voters also voiced their opinions over Twitter. As Ms. Campion prepares to give birth in April to a baby boy, what's the point of him telling us this? Is he sacrificing Vicky in an attempt to look noble? Asked one woman. Yes, just when you think old mate has hit rock bottom and there is only one way to go from there. He's proven that he can go lower. Some of your best work Barnaby, not, another tweeter said. If I could give Vicky Campion just two words of advice it would be these, leave, now, another tweet read. He has also been slammed by News Corporation journalist Sherry Markson for claiming the question about the child's paternity was never asked. I directly ask Barnaby Joyce before publication if the baby is his and ask him to confirm he had already told his wife and daughters, Ms. Markson tweeted. The journalist included a screenshot of the email sent to Joyce which shows the matter of paternity was her first question. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has deflected attempts to question him about the latest revelation in the Joyce affair. The ABC reports, the matters that are in the papers today relating to Barnaby and MS, Vicky Campion are matters for them to resolve, Mr. Turnbull told reporters in Sydney. I don't have any comments to make on it at all, Joyce, who recently quit as leader of the Nationals said he plans to raise the child as his own, the Sydney Morning Herald reported, it's mine. On the record, there it is, and can I say, even if it wasn't, I wouldn't care, I'd still go through this. I'd still love him, Mr. Joyce said, but he did admit there was a close relationship developing on a sporadic basis around the time with his former staffer. In the interview with Fairfax Media, Mr. Joyce called initial coverage of his affair outrageous and said neither he nor Ms. Campion were asked about paternity, how could they know, they never even asked if it was Joyce's bundle, Mr. Joyce said. Referring to a headline which read Bundle of Joyce, Mr. Joyce, 50, said he does not plan to take a paternity test in the Saturday interview, during which Ms. Campion, 33, was also present for some periods. The backbencher said he was in Europe on an official visit with his wife Natalie for the 10 days after June 23rd. 2017, while Ms. Campion was in North Queensland. The former Deputy Prime Minister was forced to quit as the country's number two in the wake of the scandal on February 22. Pressure was rising on Mr. Joyce ahead of his resignation from the front bench when allegations of sexual harassment surfaced, which has completely denied. 
when he announced the end of his term as deputy PM, Mr. Joyce called for his decision to be a circuit breaker for media coverage about his relationship and his unborn son. This has got to stop, it's not fair on them, it's just completely and utterly unwarranted the sort of observation that's happened, he said. Ms. Campion was Mr. Joyce's former media advisor. She left his office in April 2017 and moved to another government department. The pair were pictured in a Sydney bar in February 2017 months before news became public about their relationship. Mr. Joyce and Ms. Campion were together for 12 months between April 2016 and August 2017. During this time, the pair racked up a total expenses bill of $43,446, including more than $25,000 for six VIP trips funded by the taxpayer. Daily Mail Australia is not claiming Mr. Joyce used public funding inappropriately during this time. The couple traveled together throughout the East Coast for 2,000 kilometers on a holiday together in December and January. They traveled from Grafton in northern New South Wales to North Queensland with a stop in Townsville after Mr. Joyce told Parliament he was separated from his wife. Natalie, the road to the affair started back in May 2016 when Ms. Campion, a former journalist, joined Mr. Joyce's election campaign. That August, she joined Mr. Joyce's office as the staffer and had split with her fiancé three months before the pair were due to get married. In April 2017, after a reported confrontation with Natalie Joyce, Ms. Campion moved to Matt Canavan's office as an advisor. Just a few months later, Malcolm Turnbull was reportedly told by Joyce that his relationship with Ms. Campion was over. Mr. Joyce, an outspoken social conservative, separated from Natalie, the mother of his four daughters. After 24 years of marriage, 2016 May, Vicky Campion assists Barnaby Joyce's election campaign as media advisor. Having previously worked with NSW Government Ministers and News Corporation August, Campion joins Joyce's staff. She splits with fiancé John Bergen three months before they were due to wed. Friendship develops between Joyce and Campion in December. Chief of Staff D. Hallam reportedly seeks Joyce's approval to have Campion transferred out of office. Hallam later quits to take up departmental role 2017 February. Campion is photographed in a Sydney bar with Joyce. As revealed by Daily Mail Australia April, Barnaby's wife Natalie reportedly confronts Campion in Tamworth. Campion goes to Minister Matt Canavan office as advisor. Natalie and Barnaby seek to make marriage work May at New South Wales Nationals Conference in Broken Hill colleagues describe. Joyce as a mess June, Natalie and Barnaby show up together at Canberra Press Gallery Midwinter Ball July, Campion leaves. Her $191,000 job in Mr. Canavan's office after he quits front bench over citizenship. She temporarily goes back to Joyce's office August. Campion moves to Damien Drum's office in a social media advisor position specially created for her. He already has a media advisor. In this time she oversees just 50 posts to Facebook. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull is reportedly reassured by Joyce the relationship with Campion is over. Drum says he was told the same thing. Former Joyce Chief of Staff D. Hallam takes up a senior position with the Inland Rail Project September. Natalie reportedly asks family friend, Catholic priest Father Frank Brennan, to counsel Joyce. Campion is seen managing Joyce media events at Federal Nationals Conference in Canberra, October. Campion reportedly takes stress leave. Writ issued for New England by election after Joyce quits over dual citizenship November. Natalie holidays in Bali with a daughter. Man in a pub in Inverell angers Joyce during election campaign by reportedly saying, Say hello to your mistress December. Joyce wins by election. Joyce tells Parliament during same sex marriage debate he is separated. Campion's redundancy package is approved. They move into an Armadale property provided rent-free by businessman Greg McGuire 2018 January, Joyce and Campion Holiday. In North Queensland and NSW North Coast February, Joyce tells reporters Campion is now his partner, but denies she was his partner when she worked in Canavan's office mid-April. Joyce Campion baby is due source, AAP from media reports and official statements.